What's going on, campers? Camp Facer here. Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre the Game video. Today we're going to talk about the 60 second cooldown on the victim's abilities at the start of a match that Gunn was talking about bringing into the patch on November 28th. So one of the first changes that y'all are going to be able to see is that victims are now going to start off with a 60 second cooldown on their abilities um, at the start of a match. This change is brought to you by just us wanting to kind of incentivize stealth play and trying to stop some of the rush meta that we've seen in game. I'm going to explain to you guys why it's not going to make a difference and you shouldn't worry about it at all. I'm going to show you a, an example of some gameplay. Uh, now, Gun and in, their intentions on this, I want to say, were for the Connie mains that rush the uh, restraints and run over and pop the lock and everybody follows them out, the speedrunners for the most part. Now I'm gonna show you guys on average, the stealthy player that plays a little stealthy, but at the same time kind of hurries up and it's not gonna make a difference with time. I'm gonna show you guys an example of some gameplay with a countdown timer and why it should be two minutes instead of the one minute. Okay, we're on the restraints, timer starts. Struggling to get off, out of the restraints, almost there, going on 12 seconds, 14, got to be a little stealthy here, sometimes you can speed rush, but not everybody does it, finally got off the restraints, she can move at 26 seconds, okay we're at 30 seconds in, Happens to be right next to a door and the toolbox. Gonna get two of them. 40 seconds in. Grab the second one. 52 seconds in already. Grandpa's wake woken up. Okay, we're one minute in. Gotta be a little stealthy here. Over a minute and five seconds. Eight, nine, and ten. Now, right there, that proves uh, my point that I, I know th there's speedrunners out there that mash the button and get off their stance and, and like hurry up, and they might go a lot faster than I did by like 20 seconds faster. But on average, there you go. That was over a minute and what was it, 10 seconds? Uh, now, Let's just say they made it two minutes. Now, the even the speedrunners or even the stealthier players, like in that video, in two minutes, I would start being, I would, we'd be upstairs outside on the first floor or outside on the slaughterhouse map. Now, the two minutes is still not up. Now, the, the players still have to play a little bit more stealthy because uh, Leland doesn't have the shoulder check yet. Connie doesn't have that pop lock yet. Um, Julie doesn't have this, the, the rushing, uh, her endurance built up, uh, ability and, and so on. So that would put a little more stress on the victims. If it was two minutes, in my personal opinion, I feel like the one minute doesn't make a difference. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Should gun make it two minutes? And I'm not, you know, I play both sides. I'm not just a family man. I, I love playing victim, but to me, it just doesn't feel like it's going to do much of anything. I don't know. Uh, I do know that they are also going to have the uh, sound follow you when you make noise, the noise ping. When you make noise as victims, it's going to stick to you as you run away and then it slowly fades away. So it's going to be harder on that aspect of the game with the new patch. But as far as the 60 second timer on abilities at the start of a match, I feel like that's too short. Um, again, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this. And yeah, let's have a discussion and I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, campers, stay out of the woods.